My name is Julian Penderhume and I'm based here at the Natural History Museum. I'm an artist as well as a paleontologist. Well, this is probably the most famous dodo painting of them all. It was by a Dutch artist, Roland Safari, painted in 1626, and it's everyone's idea of what a dodo should look like. But actually, he was wrong. So what I'm doing here is a, a direct copy, the outline of that original Savary, and I'm doing it exactly to scale as Savary drew it, and then I'm going to change it and give it their scientific interpretation based on modern evidence of what this dodo really should have looked like in life. I'm now back at home and I've bought my tracing of that Roland Savary original. So I'll start erasing some of these lines. We're not exactly sure what Roland Savary was seeing when he painted his dodo. He painted this fat, large bird, which was based on the early mariners' accounts. It was very popular during the 17th and 18th centuries to paint farm animals, particularly new breeds. And I always compare the Savary painting with one of those pictures. It had to be the fattest, bulgiest, best looking animal ever. And I think Savary was probably biased by that. One area that Savary definitely got wrong was the crop. Savary did this really great bulbous crop and we know that never existed. In fact, in flightless birds, the breastbone becomes quite small and flat. And so you lose that bulge and they become almost snake-like. So you can start drawing in lines like this and taking away that fat. We don't want a fat ball on legs. This was a live animal. Now, I'm using science to change this iconic image of the dodo, the most famous painting of all. And I also feel that I'm tampering with something that shouldn't be tampered with. He was actually alive and he painted that bird when the dodo was alive. Here I am in the 21st century, putting my opinion, scientific opinion on it, who is correct? We would never know.